Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentle them, welcome in to a class guide for Lost Ark Western release. Today, we're going to be going over the Sorceress, the only true damage dealer in the mage class for the Western release until we get uh, more unlocks later with new classes coming out. But the Sorceress was actually swapped for the Summoner uh, in the launch, which is pretty cool. And I'm pretty glad that we're getting Sorceress, as I'm sure a lot of people out there are, as it is the true caster in the game is that true magic caster sorcerer sorceress kind of wizard that people really want to see and that's what we're going over today so what is this guide this guide is going to be a overview of the gameplay the mechanics the end game what you should expect how the play style comes to fruition how you uh fit into group play and things like that as i want to leave the meta to develop on its own for the western release north america and western europe as I think that there are going to be some differences and some emergent gameplay, as I'm sure there always is for games that come to new regions. And even now, if you look at the uh, Japan, Russian, uh, and the Korean regions right now, there is still differences between them and how they play the game, the builds they choose, and what their methodology is. So we're not going to be going into an advanced guide on what the best abilities are, what's being played right now how to do it and and what the the meta is for that character it's more going to be one of the mechanics and it should help you hopefully decide whether you want to play sorceress as your main or not but first if you have any questions or comments for me you'll find me live every day on twitch.tv forward slash dry bear who knows i might even be streaming right now so we'll start off as i have with all of my class guides for the release uh with the basic attack for the sorceress this is the basic attack. It's a relatively straightforward projectile. Very consistent, very easy. The range on it is is pretty short for a ranged class. But then again, she does have a lot of mobility built into the way she, her character works. The basic attack uh, for some classes gets used, for some doesn't. Um, sometimes it gets used more in PvP and less in PvE and vice versa. And it depends on your gear level and your uh, build that you're using at the time, whether or not you'll use it. But I think it adds a nice flair to the character and helps you understand how the character uh, fits into the world of Lost Ark. Next, let's go over the identity. This is the middle of your bar at the bottom. Every class has an identity and it is your unique mechanic set or your passive that defines why your character is different from the others. And the state here is uh, almost all of them are meter builders. The way the sorceress works is you have this bar down here underneath the scroll. You build this up by using spells and attacking and you fill up the meter. And when it gets up to a certain level, you'll be able to spend this with two different options for your identity skills. The first is magic discharge. This will likely be a different name when it comes to the West, magic unleashed or something like that. Uh, but when you activate this, you actually will start depleting the gauge and it needs to be up above 30% for you to activate. You have a small AOE when you activate, but while it's activated, you have 20% elemental damage. Cast time becomes only one second. All skill cooldowns are reduced in, except dodge and awakening, and then you get increased part destruction. So while you have this active, you're able to dump your whole kit exceptionally fast uh, because you have the shorter cast times and you have more damage as well. So it's like this super mode that you can enter in for a short time as you build up a meter. You can dump all your abilities, then you exit it, uh, and then you're able to build your meter back up again. The second option for your spend is Blink. So you do have a movement ability built into yourself, uh, which is this right here. It is a eight second instant Blink. It's very short, but it's also very fast. Um, and I think because she has so many other options for movement, um, she doesn't really need to have the best movement in the game, but it is very responsive. Um, and you have another one here with Blink. So when you use this, You'll go pretty far with it, though it does consume your meter. So you have this interesting decision on whether you're going to use Magic Discharge for damage or whether you're going to use Blink for uh, movement. And we'll get into the class engravings later on, on which one of those you'll prefer more, uh, as most often the class engravings lean towards one or the other and have very different play styles. Next, let's go over the two ultimates called Awakening skills in this game. You'll unlock the first one at level 50, which is soft cap. And then you'll unlock the second one after you finish a four hour quest to uh, unlock this. And it does it for your, all of the characters on that server. The first one is Dome of Enwissa, as it's described here on the Russian client, uh, might have a different name when it comes to the West. And this is probably the most common one used. In fact, I think it's, it's uh, 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 the lion's share of every sorcerer you'll see uses this one. One, because the damage is very reliable and controllable. 
and two because it's much faster and you'll see why when we look at the second one so this is the first one it is a lightning attack it looks very stunning to look at you activate it a big dome will zap and deal continual damage She'll control that and shove it right into the earth and then a big explosion will come out dealing damage again which is super huge that's basically all it does it has decent destruction and impairment um, but it does and it does have a pull if the targets that you're hitting have are, are, are cc-able and it does an incredible amount of damage and because it is affected by your magic discharge uh you can you can actually activate and then dump your awakening to get even more damage out of it um and there's, there's a build that relies on that as well the other ultimate that you'll have access to, and you can only have one slotted to your bar at one time, including both in PvP and PvE, is going to be Open Skies. This one is a meteor shower. So when you activate it, meteors will start falling from the sky. It looks gorgeous. It looks great. Um, I think the reason people don't use it as often is mainly because it's just so random, um, especially in like a boss encounter or in PvP. When you have a specific target you want to hit, you activate this and it just goes all over the screen. The range is wide. Um, it doesn't really see much use, but Smilegate have a good history, uh, it seems, of just buffing and, and uh, bringing up weaker options. Uh, but it is pretty cool to have it. Um, and it does deal more damage to, that are like to weaker targets or common targets. Um, so it, it can help you clear uh, through Chaos Dungeons, but even then I think the other one's uh, better. So those are the two ultimates for the Sorceress. Uh, things to keep in mind um and i think honestly she just much like every character in the game very gorgeous effects uh very reactive very satisfying when you dump everything out um and a lot of times too it's just very respectable burst damage um when you're using the sorceress you'll feel right at home if you're the kind of person that loves wizard magic uh offensive magic and and that kind of play style next let's talk about engravings now there are many systems in the game that allow you to customize and strengthen your character over time i'm not going to go through all of them and we're only going to briefly touch on engravings because even though it is an end game system you won't really have engravings until you reach soft cap um, and then you'll start implementing them into your build and that's part of your end game uh, progression it is important to know what the class engravings are for each class because it, it it will change how you play when you get to the end game so knowing now in a video like this which is an overview is good so engravings are passive benefits that you equip that will always be with your character and you can have multiple of them. You'll equip them and which ones you choose uh, will specify your build. And all classes have access to the combat or general engravings is this list here. They all have various effects that do various things and how you mix and match them will specify your build. However, every class also has access to two class engravings these are exceptionally powerful um, are unique only to that class no one else has access to them and they generally are very build defining they will amplify a part of your kit and uh disable or reduce another part so that you're specifying your playstyle in one way or the other the source was no different and she has two different away uh, two different class engravings that she can choose from the first one is the most common and it is ignition as it's called here in the east when the uh, the magic discharge starts, the cooldown of skills applied before you activate your, your identity passive where you get elemental damage and, and shorter cooldowns um, is reduced by 50%, which means that all the abilities you used to build up your meter and enter into magic discharge are then uh, reset by 50%, so you can get back into them and, and dump them again, which is great. And while that magic discharge is up, your crit chance is increased and your crit damage is increased. So it just makes your magic discharge that much better and it it becomes this super moment where you're just building up your meter as fast as you can getting into magic discharge dumping everything including your awakening and dealing incredible damage and then repeating the process very fast pace very bursty it's one of the burstiest builds in the game very scary to look at and i think because of that you'll often see people that are running ignition never actually use their meter for their blink because they're saving their meter primarily for their damage and then they'll only use their dodge dodge ability uh, that's built into their character so that they can use all of their meter for damage uh, in every case. And so I, I think you almost see sorceresses that use ignition, you'll, you'll never see them blink because they have to build up that damage output. The second option is called reflex and this one is a little bit less flashy, but it's more consistent and has a, a, a better flow to it, I think. You can no longer use your magic discharge so your your first identity skill 
is not available to your class anymore. You cannot activate it. All you have is blink. However, damage from skills just in general by flat is increased by 16% at max rank and their cooldown is reduced. So while you don't have this big moment where you enter magic discharge, you dump everything and you're trying to have this, this rhythm with your play, you overall become stronger. And so it's more about using your abilities when they make sense, managing your cooldowns and playing more um, into a very steady cadence is what Reflex is. Ignition is the one I think that has a higher output, but again, we don't know what numbers we're gonna get for the Western release. And it could be that this one uh, you know, doesn't it doesn't have the same kind of lopsided preference that we see in some of the other regions. So that's Sorceress. She is super fun to play. She's gorgeous to look at. I mean, th these effects are really, really cool. You have so many different options with the abilities. I think uh, the VFX is one of the strongest points in the Lost Ark. The, the effects are just so cool. Um, and I think if you love a caster, Sorceress is going to scratch that itch for you through and through. So. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you this I hope you like this video. I hope it helped you choose Sorceress or any other class. I have class guides for all the classes coming out in the Western release. And uh, yeah, let's jump over to the next class. If you enjoyed yourself today, leave a like down below. You can support me and my work on Patreon and view Patreon exclusive content. Link in the description. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one.